my first question is, what, what was your motivation behind creating this book? When my wife and I retired up here two years ago to live here full time, we've been coming up for 30 years, uh, I noticed that a lot of people in Sturgeon Bay felt like they weren't getting credit for even being part of Door County. And they told me stories. Uh, someone would come into a B&B &B and say, how far is it to Sturgeon Bay? And the answer was, you've been here for 22 miles already. And uh, there are some really incredible things that a lot of people didn't know about. And they drive right up over the bridge and keep on going north. And what I wanted to do was try and find a way to get people to stop and look at what's here. Okay. And what was maybe some of the more interesting things that you discovered while doing this book? You, you know, we talked off a little bit more. It took you nine months to kind of compile these stories and compile these pictures. What was the most interesting thing that you learned? Um, I learned that even within Sturgeon Bay, some people don't know about other things that are in Sturgeon Bay. One of the most, for me, surprising things were the B&Bs. Uh, we drive by them, they look like beautiful old Victorian mansions, whatever, and then you get inside and they are drop-dead gorgeous. A lot of people think a B&B &B is a, a shared bathroom. They have jacuzzis, they have fireplaces in the rooms, and this ornate woodwork, they're just gorgeous. Okay, what's, uh, what's some of the highlights that you, I mean, you mentioned B&Bs, what are some of the other highlights that maybe you uncovered during your journeys? Uh, number one, how incredibly helpful the people were, and um, how surprising it was. Now, a lot of the places, when they found out that I'm not making any money on this, I'm donating all the profits to the Door County Community Foundation, they just opened their doors. I got in a nice tour at Bay Ship Building the Maritime Museum, and those are places that typically wouldn't let you come in and take pictures. All right, and what was your, what was the thought process of first creating this book and then not making any money off of it, just donating it all to charity? Um, there's a lot of people, there's so many charities up here. I mean, I think Door County has more than most counties. And uh, the Community Foundation does a fabulous job. I met Brett McCoy about two years ago when I was working with the Women's Fund. And I saw what they were able to do and how many charities they were able to help. And I thought, you know, um, this might be a good way to give back. And it was a, a labor of love because uh, I love Door County, specifically love Sturgeon Bay. And all right, all right. And, and during, the, during the nine months, I mean, you probably shot during all sorts of different weather and, you know, different seasons. What was probably the most challenging part of creating this book? Well... Let's go, going all the way back to the beginning, I signed up for a photo class with Dan Anderson and Suzanne Rose, which was a real eye-opener and amazing. And this was our bad winter, if you remember that. And it was 15 below with 20-mile-an-hour winds, and we had to get up before dawn to go do the lighthouse. And, oh, it was so cold. But I got some incredible shots from that session, uh, four of which are in the book. But that also got me thinking, there's more here. And that's what I wanted to do. Why should people buy the book? One, because they'll be surprised when they see how much there is in Sturgeon Bay. And two, it goes to a good cause. All right. And anything else about the book that you want to kind of uncover? Any interesting stories that maybe you had, had while creating this book? I loved meeting the people, the, the, the variety of characters, a Pat McDonald who was so engaging and entertaining, a Hans Christian when listening to him and his world experience with music. And I got to sit down and talk with these people and really find out what they're all about. And that, was, to me, was just so enriching.